Once a king called three of his most important helpers and gave each one of them a bag. He then told them to go around and fill up the bags with fruits. This would test the sincerity of his helpers. The first helper took the order of the king seriously and worked hard to collect the best fruits he could find and filled up his bag. The second helper took the order of the king lightly and filled up his bag with a mixture of good and rotten fruits. The third helper did totally opposite of both of the other helpers. He filled up the bag with just dry leaves and dirt. His intention was to fool the king by just giving an impression that he had done his job filling the bag. He didn't even have a single fruit in his bag. All three helpers came back to the court of the king with their bags. Without checking what they had collected, the king ordered that each helper must be sent to a separate jail for a month. The food they will be eating is what they had each collected in their bags. The first helper was happy as he had plenty of good quality food to live on. He wasn't worried at all. The second helper was worried as half of his food was rotten and wouldn't last him for the entire duration of his imprisonment. The third helper was terrified as he had no food at all. He was lazy in carrying out the command of the king. Moral of the story, each one of us is like those helpers. We all have been given a book which we need to fill up with good deeds for use in the hereafter. Some of us will be sincere and will collect plenty of good deeds. Others will be like the remaining two helpers who will have a mixture of good and bad deeds while some will totally neglect their duty and waste their life by committing sins day and night. On the day of judgment, we will be responsible for what we have done. Let's be like the first helper who took things seriously and had nothing to worry about in the end.